Oh, hey, what's up, guys? Didn't see you there. One of the most requested videos I've had in a while is, uh, you guys want to see my sneaker collection? So I just want to preface this video. I'm not trying to show off. Uh, it's not even that crazy. I might go sell my whole collection tomorrow. Who knows? Or I might go buy some more pairs. We really don't know. But what I do know is, we're going to show you the sneaker collection. So you guys ready? Maybe drop a little like, subscription, if you must. Uh, it's free, by the way. Isn't it free, Aaron? Mm -hmm. We got Aaron behind the camera. Aaron, you want to shout, shout, shout to me? You want to let people know? <laughs> you wanna, here, I got you. Let the people know what you're about, man. I don't know if I don't do that. Okay, all right. Okay, all right. That was a little awkward, bro. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Humble. So what should we start off with? Heat or? Humble, bro. Humble? Humble. Humble, okay. So these are actually shoes I used to wear in high school. Uh, I don't know, these are pretty... Oh, they smell rancid. <laughs> <laughs> These are actually, that's really bad, dude. But yeah, this is what I used to wear to high school every day. So that's where we started. I think I got, oh, this is this is like the second pair. When I started making a little bit of bread, I bought some Revenge Storms and then I wore these into the ground. You can see the whites coming off the bottoms. And then you guys know, I love my Birkenstocks. I have like three pairs of these. I have these. Those are my first ones I bought. Those are crazy. I'm probably gonna get another pair soon because zoom in on that one. I gotta, I gotta show them. Like, usually it's all fur. I'll put like a picture up on the screen. But I don't know if you guys can see it. There's literally holes where my feet are. Not, not because I'm dirty, just because I wore them a lot. And then I, I switched to this pair. Uh, I haven't worn them as much. They kind of look a little weird, so I don't really be wearing them like that. Um, Aaron's not the biggest fan. I know he's not. He's voiced that to me many of times. And then I have these ones. I got the closed toe. Uh, they look like bread loaves, kind of. Look like bread loaves? Pretty clean. Clean. Thank you, thank you. And if I don't know if you zoom in, if you zoom in, you could see I'm a little cooler than everybody else because it says Stussy. You can't see it, but it's there. Okay, it's there. It's there. But um, next shoe. This is probably one of my most regrettable purchases I've made. I paid two hundred dollars <laughs> at Dallas Sneaker Con for these. Uh, they were brand new, and I don't think I've worn them since then, which is like six months ago. They're just extremely uncomfortable. But you know, for the culture, we have them still. Next pair, a little interesting pair. I was supposed to ball up in SneakerCon Atlanta. So I bought these out of just like wanting to hoop and we couldn't find any hoops available uh, close to us, but I don't know, it's kind of interesting. I think it's the J. Cole or something, something like that. But you see the little Mario star on the back and they say Super Mario. So kind of cool. I'll bust those out when I start going hooping again. And then next shoe we got here, these are like my everyday hooping shoes, uh, some Kobe ones. These were, I got them before I started making bread. So how should we do this, Aaron? Should we go like from least heat to most heat? Yeah, that sounds good. All right, all right, all right. Um, I'd say least heat in here is probably these. A little interesting pair, a little interesting pair. Um, it looks like just a regular van, but it's just a little spice on them. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's got a little handshake on there. It's a collab with No Tray. I think I paid hundred dollars for these. I don't know. I think they're pretty sick. I don't wear them too often though. Next up, I have been flamed for wearing these ones. Let me know what you guys think of these. Aaron, what you, how you feeling, bro? They're cool. They're, they're cool. cool. Oh, because I swear a couple months ago you were like, bro, what is this? I mean, they're cool for a girl. I don't know about that. I've seen a lot of girls wearing them. They're pretty cool on them. Okay, all right, for sure. I honestly have not worn these very much. I think I got them for like 120 on Goat. I don't know. They're just different. They have like. Plastic side panel. I don't know, I feel like if Off-White did a Converse the right way, they would kind of look like this. Just put like a little Off-White hang tag and I guarantee you these would go for like $600. Now we're starting to heat up a little bit. Not too much, not too much. If you guys know, you guys know. The golden era of basketball. The KD5, Kobe 8, and LeBron 10 was like the golden era of basketball. Maybe a little bit before then too, but I got these at Dallas Sneaker Con for like 100 bucks. Have yet to wear them, but you know, they are waiting to get their innocence taken out of them. <laughs> you probably shouldn't say that. Uh, they're waiting to be uh, thoroughly used. Next up on the list here, uh, I'll heating up a little bit more. Probably one of the most underrated shoes in my opinion right now, or was. I think they went up a little bit, but caught these sitting at like a Nike store near me. Uh, I think retail was like 130. Uh, I think they're like at what, like 210, 215 now, 220. But they definitely went up. Clean shoe, you can wear them every day. I don't know, I like these. Quality's pretty good. I'm looking for some uh, some starfish ones. Oh, bro, see that see that sock right there? See that sock I'm gonna show you guys. Great investment right here. Did, did, did you say sock lint? There's no sock lint in there anymore. Sock lint shaver. Look at that. Just did that. Is that for your dog or something? No, no, no. It's for shoes, bro. Next up, this is a kind of a toughie because we're kind of getting into the area of a few shoes are like the same value. I guess I guess go with these then. Jordan 1 Pollens, you guys know how I feel about them. We got a few right there. One of the most underrated shoes in my opinion. I don't know, I think Aaron doesn't like them. You're not a fan? No. I, I was a fan of the Varsity Maze Dunks, and then they put it in a Jordan 1. Quality, it could be a little bit better, but dude, like the color blocking, 
beautiful, bro. It's beautiful. Love this pair. I paid, I don't know, I, I, I traded you like some unions and something else. Or unions. You got raging bulls in those. Yeah, but I'll show you guys those in a second. I think it was like 170 for those. Okay, I guess these are, these are up next. A6 Sean Witherspoon, definitely a different shoe. You don't see these every day. One shoe is this color, the other shoe is that color. But hold on, it gets better. Interchangeable logos. I wouldn't call that a swoosh, but interchangeable logos, just in case you want to take it off. Do a little mismatch, although I don't like it, so I keep it like that. And also, I haven't worn them too much, but as you do wear them, they look a little bit better because they are corduroy. I, just, I don't wear them that much because they're a little tight. Like, my foot's kind of wide, so they don't fit that well, so I might be getting rid of these soon. Next up on the list, pick these up from Mr. Robert. Resales himself at SneakerCon Atlanta. Have yet to wear these yet, but um, I'm quite a fan of the colorway. I do like the green ones the best, but they're really hard to find. Um, also, they have some cream laces in there. You know, not too crazy, not too crazy, but yeah. Got those. One of the most undervalued shoes at the moment, Lightning 4s. I picked these up for $220, which is literally retail. I think they're going for like $250 right now, but bro. Three, four months, you guys can come back and watch this when I'm right. They'll be like 300 to 350. Guarantee it. No questions asked. Cause like, bro, it's a good shoe. Quality, not bad. Just good colors. How do you feel about them? They're cool. They're I mean, cool. They're not worth more than they are. Okay. What? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, this is why you're the cameraman. All right. You don't deserve anything else. I'm just kidding. Uh, the lining four is extremely undervalued. Uh, yeah. So that's that. Let's get into some more of the lower tier stuff. Raging Bull 5s picked them up for Aaron himself. Uh, I don't know. I'm just really a fan of these. I like the old ones better, but they would crumble if I wore them. I just, I really like the way they look when they get yellow, but it'll be a while until these start yellowing. So that's why I got those. Also, I just needed like some fives. I don't really have any fives. Oh yeah, I forgot about these on the floor. Uh, I got these for $40, bro, from the meetup when I drove like three hours to San Diego in one day. Uh, $40 for some UNC 6s. Uh, they are kind of beat, but like, it's kind of just like a beater shoe. They're clean, all black, the little hints of like the UNC blue. I don't know, can't really go wrong with them. They're a little uncomfortable though. UNC or 6s in general, just not a fan of just like the way they feel. But you know, if I have to pull that fit off, I'm gonna, I'm gonna push through and you know. So next up, we have, I'm gonna be selling these soon, so you guys are lucky to see this now. But uh, Yeezy 700 creams, I'm trading these for, not really trading, but I'm selling these, and with that money, I'm getting the MX Oats. I hit them on Adidas today, so very proud of myself for hitting uh, retail on a shoe for once. But yeah, these are pretty comfortable. I don't know, I just don't, I don't really wear them that much. So, these are gonna go off to a new home. Next up, we're gonna get into some bootlegs here. These are supposed to look like the Paris Dunks. Um, I'll put up a picture on the screen of what those look like. But uh, instead of the Nike swoosh, you got the little shotgun thing, bullet holes on the toe. They say slug in the back, if you put them together. And then you got a whole bunch of bullets and bullets, pretty much. And also, they're in the box, but I just haven't done it yet, but they have like little shotgun tips uh, that you can put on the um, can... lace tips. You were waiting for that one. I know you. I know you were waiting to say aglets. That, that's a word. Aglets are shoe shoe tips, right? Or the lace tips. Lace tips. Aglets. Word of the day. Aglet. All right. So yeah, I think I paid kind of hot. What, what was that? The shout out Phineas and Ferb. Phineas and Ferb. Yeah. Thank you. Shout out to Phineas and Ferb. Huge supporters of the channel. Thank you guys. <laughs> but yeah, I paid three hundred and thirty dollars for these at SneakerCon San Jose. A little high, but they're really hard to find. So I don't know. I really like them. I'm a sucker for details. All right. Uh, next shoe. Another another bootleg. It's my only second second bootleg I bought. I think these are my favorites though. Ori Studios Jordan One type of vibe. Uh, you got the navy suede, pretty decent leather, um, and then you have the Statue of Liberty right 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 there. right there. Embroidered too. It's not a patch. And then you have the New York City skyline there. It says V2 on the tongue. And then I don't know if you can see it, but Mr. Cameraman, if you zoom in. You got a map of New York down there, which is pretty sick. And the box is like an old style, like newspaper type of vibe. So I really, really like these. I paid like 300 for those. Unions, I love these. I love, 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 love. Bro, like the cream, I'm honestly, I'm a sucker for cream because it just goes with so much. Like you could put some cargos like this or wear some shorts 
and a t-shirt. I don't know. I like shoes that are wearable, um, and this is definitely one of them. I think Aaron actually hit these for retail. Mm -hmm. You did when they came out? Yeah. You sold them for like, what, like $200? <laughs> like a G. Oh, my fault, my fault. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but I picked these up for 600 at SneakerCon Denver. So yeah, I'm a huge fan of these. I definitely think they'll go up more in the future just because like shoes that reconstruct a uh, already pretty popular silhouette like the Jordan 4. They did the same thing with the uh, the ones, the Union ones. You have like the stitching around them, but they definitely change these up a lot. You got like the panel that's not cut out, the tongue that's folded down. I don't know. I just I love these. So that's that. Coming into another bittersweet one. Probably one of my favorite threes alongside the Seoul, Seoul, Seoul the Seoul uh, Korean exclusive threes, but those are like five grand. The Amamanir Jordan 3, dude. Beautiful. Beautiful to say the least. It's got cream all over. Yeah. Bro, just that, that back heel. <laughs> Why are you laughing, bro? It's not that funny. Are we, la are we laughing? You want to share? That'd be good, bro. Okay. All right, yeah, so you got the, you got the cream on the back. <laughs> Then you got the little Amamanir A, quilted, quilted inside. You guys, you see that? Can you see it? You see it? Good, good, good. Cream inside, or not the cream. <laughs> the, the quilted inside is just a beautiful shoe, and also I hit them for retail. But the bittersweet part is they are a half size too big, so they look kind of weird when I wear them. So I have not worn these in a minute, but I love the shoe nonetheless. All right, heating up, heating up, heating up, heating up. I gotta say too much. All five fours, beautiful. What do you think? Dope shoe. That's it? Yeah. It's just a dope shoe? Mm -hmm. This is more than a dope shoe, bro. It's a sick shoe. Look at that, just all tan beige cream. It's just probably one of my favorite Jordan fours, alongside the undefeated fours. But those are worth more than three of my cars put together. So probably not gonna be buying those anytime soon. But yeah, I did get these for eight, Fifty, uh, literally this week, and then when I'm done wearing them, I could probably sell them for like a grand. What can I say? But these will probably be in my collection for a while. I don't want to say how long because I might just sell them next week. But who knows, you know? Um, but yeah, I love that shoe. I think we hit all the ones right here. Also, my closet is a mess. I can't even fit shoes in here anymore. Um, but oh, you know we'll save those for last. This shoe right here, Alia May Jordan ones. Probably one of the most unique ones that have been out for quite a while. This came out in like, what, 2016, 2017? Uh, it was stupid broke. Remember me and Aaron used to take our trips down to Melrose and look at them? No we could never put, touch them. But yeah, now we got them. If you guys can see it, uh, got the corduroy on like most of like the side panels, satin on the back and satin on the toe. You know, nothing too crazy. Got the leather insole, quilted leather insole. So that's pretty sick. Um, but yeah, I think I paid stupid cheap on these. Oh, that insole's kind of gross. But yeah, I think I paid like $300 for these. So that's a ridiculous steal because brand new goes for like a thousand. We're starting to, we're starting to come down here to our last couple of shoes, um, which just tells me I need more. Univer- no, no, no. Midnight Navy Jordan 1. Quality is super, super good on these. I remember when these dropped, they were going for a little bit above retail, then they just kind of spiked up to 300. Um, but quality is extremely good on these. Got a nice little silver swoosh. You know, zoom in, come on, come here, come here. Zoom in. See that toe? That's good quality right there. That's good quality on the toe. But yeah, they usually come with like these midnight navy laces, but they're like rope laces and they look kind of weird. So I swapped them out with the white laces. How do you feel about them? Yeah, they're clean. They're clean? Yeah. That's it? Mm -hmm. Good job. Guys, I think, I think we're on our last shoe. Wow, that was kind of quick. But guys, last but not least, if you know, you know. Hey, and if you're watching this, bro, I appreciate you for hooking me up with this pair right here. Uh, my boy hooked me up for $1,310 for a fake pair of Chicago's. I honestly don't remember what video it was, but I'll put a little, uh, like a picture of the thumbnail right here somewhere. Fake Chicago's $1,310 and I wear them pretty often because I paid $1,300, I'm going to get my money's worth. Out of all the shoes in this collection, this one probably means the most to me because of just how much I paid and the story behind it. Even though they're not real, I don't care. Like, I'll rock them. I do not care. But yeah, dude, $1,310, Aaron. Aaron was actually there mm -hmm. when I bought these. So super fresh, my size, grails, fakes. Uh, it's super sick. But yeah, that's pretty much my whole collection. Maybe I'll update this video or I'll make another one in like a year's time or so. And who knows? We might not even be in this room. We might be, bro, where, where are we going to be in a year? Like a mansion. 12 rooms, 
shoes, probably like a hundred. Prediction, next year's sneaker collection video. Not in this room, all right? That's the first thing. 50 pairs of shoes, that's fair. 50 pairs of shoes, that's, 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 uh, that's me speaking to myself next year. So I'm gonna come back while I'm making that video and I'm gonna react to this part of the video. That's all I have to show you guys. I'm gonna close my closet now because it's a little dirty. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. You guys were begging me for a sneaker collection video, so I had to deliver. If you want to go follow my Instagram, it'll be up on the screen and down linked in the description below. And yeah, if you're down there already, you might as well hit the like button, subscribe, maybe comment your thoughts if I had a trash collection. Maybe talk about how you have a whole bunch of more pairs than me. That would really be awesome. And then, Aaron, you, got, you wanna say anything to the people before we uh, sign off, man? You good, man. I'm good? Yeah. I appreciate you, bro. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Until next time, peace. I said, baby, like, whoa, huh? I cannot feel any more. Stuck to these bands like I need me some more, yeah. I have been rolling a doja. Everything feeling so close. Think that I need me some closure. She trying to pull it to shows. Nigga, I'm counting as dough. Hold up a fold, yeah.